All right, so let's uh, do this little video here. So, uh, I think YouTube uh, recently has become a very negative place for a lot of things. So I thought with my second channel, I would do kind of a video each month talking about things I'm excited about coming out in the next month. Uh, this doesn't include everything I'm going to talk about on my channel. Uh, channels, because this is not my main channel. If you don't know, I have a main channel, Chance Movie Vlog channel. Check it out. Um, but if you, you know, so this doesn't include everything I'm going to cover. I, I, sometimes during the month you just get surprised with some of the things coming out, uh, that come out out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll start with, some, uh, some of the things I'm, like, kind of least excited about. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk about a couple concerts I'm going to, uh, physicals, figures I'm getting in the mail, books, uh, and lots of movies, because I'm a, a big movie guy. Uh, one of the things I'm least excited about coming out this month, but I'm interested in it at least, so I thought I'd throw it in this video, is Lali, Lali the Crocodile. Uh, I saw the trailer for this movie. It looks like a Paddington knockoff, and that's, that's kind of what has me interested and concerned, because I love Paddington. I love the movies. I have them over there in my collection on Blu-ray. I watch them. Uh, at least the second one quite frequently. The first one I watch so, uh, every once in a while. I don't, um, but yeah. I uh, love Paddington. And so seeing the trailer for this. I'm like this looks like a Paddington knockoff. Kind of same thing. It's based on a book series. It's popular. It's bestseller. Yada yada yada. Um, it looks alright. Uh, I'm concerned about Sean Mendes voicing the crocodile doing the scene. How well that will turn out, but I will check this one out. Uh, I'm, you know, in the same week this comes out, though, Amsterdam comes out, which I'm incredibly excited about. Uh, I'm not a, I, I've never seen a David O. Russell film. I do want to see more of his films, even though he's quite the shitty person. Uh, the cast of this film looks great, and it looks like a fun murder mystery that's kind of unique doing its own thing. So, I don't know. I'm excited about that one. And, uh, yeah, I guess to round out the movie conversation, uh, for the most part, uh, I'm excited about, uh, Terrifier 2. I've never seen Terrifier, and, and so I'm gonna watch that one, do a little video the week before that comes out, and then, uh, watch Terrifier 2 and have a review for you guys. So, that's gonna be fun. I'm excited about that one. I'm excited about, um, Hellraiser coming to Hulu. Um, I've actually never seen any Hellraiser movies, so this is like another Jeepers Creepers kind of situation to me. Hopefully it's not quite as bad as that movie was, but uh, I'm excited for this uh, new Hellraiser movie. I, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, the fact that it's going to Hulu makes me a little cautious, but at the same time, Prey was really good, and that went to Hulu, so we'll see. So that's re uh, Oh, uh, Black Adam's coming out. I'm like hyped for Black Adam. Uh... Don't know if it'll be great or good, but I, I, fingers crossed, man. I really, really love DC. I'm always Team DC. Uh, even though a lot of times it's a fool's errand. Halloween Ends coming out. That's going to be cool. I love Halloween, so um, definitely hype for that. I'm going to go with my Michael Myers t-shirt and my uh, Halloween collectibles have on display at work when we show the movie there. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about that. Um, I swear there was something else coming out. I'm forgetting, but whatever. And last two movies I want to talk about. These are direct-to-video movies. Scooby-Doo Trick or Treat. Um, I pre-order all these Scooby-Doo animated movies that they put out. I watch them all. I loved uh, the last few ones they've done, especially the one with Curtis the Cowardly Dog. This one looks cool. And uh, the Halloween they one that that they did a couple years ago it was fun so kind of them doing that again with trick-or-treat seems kind of fun uh excited about that one already got a pre-order and it will come in a couple weeks uh batman and superman battle of sons a new dc animated movie uh, i pre-order all those and watch those so i'm hyped for that one i haven't pre-ordered this one yet but i will pretty soon so i'm excited about that um, Tropic Thunder getting a 4K, a Blu-ray. I've never seen Tropic Thunder. I love Ben Stiller, though, and I really want to watch this, so 
and this is a movie that, if you know the context of the movie, probably not going to be around for much longer, so definitely go pre-order that. Um, High Republic uh, line of books are excellent Star Wars books has one more book coming out this month uh, or not this month and uh, in October and uh, the book looks great uh, I you know I pre-order all those books I already have that pre-ordered and actually the same day I get that I get my screen to 4k which I'm hyped to watch because I love the screen movies so that'll be fun um, I the week after I get my uh, Paranormal Activity box set, which I'm not a big Paranormal Activity guy, but this set looks awesome, and I definitely am going to rewatch all the movies because <laughs> of this box set now, because it looks so amazing. It's got, it's kind of got me interested in the movies, and I want to see the making of documentary that comes in the set and stuff. To Kill a Mockingbird 4K. Now I pre-ordered the limited edition because I'm a big fan of this movie, and it comes with like a film set and stuff, and that thing looks awesome. I act, fun fact, you can pre-order that off of Grov, or Groove, however you say it, dot com. And uh, on Amazon, the limited edition is about 28 bucks. but if you pre-order it off of Grove, free shipping, and it's 25 So I pre-ordered it off of there. Hype for that. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff coming out. Uh, some other ones I'm excited about. Trying to think, there's so many other ones I was excited about. I think there was another one. Oh, I get my Avatar figures in the mail. So McFarland Toys is doing this line of Avatar figures, and they're and I'm really excited to not only have those for display, but in December when we show the second one, I can have those on display and stuff. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm excited to go buy DC Super Pets finally. I like that movie. I don't. I know it's kind of like a lot of people either didn't watch it or didn't like it. I liked it. I thought it was good. It's all a little DC movie. I, I, again, Team DC. You know, I, I don't know. I, I hate a lot of the stuff that they do sometimes, but I also love a lot of the stuff they do. So, um, you know, I'm excited for Bullet Train to finally hit physical. I love Bullet Train. Watch that thing three times in theaters. So I'm definitely grabbing that. So I'm going to go watch, and I'm going to go buy Nope 2. That comes out this month. I really love Nope. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite Jordan Peele. Uh, it's probably my second or number one favorite Jordan Peele movie. I can't really say. Honestly, I need to watch again. But yeah, that looks cool. The Walmart exclusive cover with that looks cool. The E.T. Target exclusive steelbook looks cool. Definitely grab that. A couple other steelbooks like uh, Catch Me If You Can and uh, The Ring steelbook. If I can see those in stores, I'll definitely grab those two. Uh, hype. For that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I, I do like a lot of these um, these mo uh, these things. Yeah, I'm excited for all that. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I got a couple Amazon exclusives. Like, uh, I have a Star Wars Funko Pop Amazon exclusive of Savine on pre-order from Rebels. Looks great. Can't wait to get that pop. Same with the Miss Marvel one. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in October. Uh, obviously, I didn't touch upon everything. I am excited for, like... Uh, the final episodes, House of the Dragon, uh, Rings of Power, She-Hulk coming out in October, stuff like that. But in terms of like that stuff, it's like, you know, that's cool. I'm excited for all that stuff. Andor airing more throughout October is going to be cool. Oh, I'm excited for Werewolf by Night coming out in October. That's going to be dope. Uh, comes out the same day as Hellraiser, so that's going to be fun. And Terrifier too. so I'm going to have to, it's going to be a busy day, or a busy weekend at least. Uh, that's going to be fun though. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff I'm excited about, and obviously I'm excited about Halloween. Um, I have a theater that actually shows Halloween every single year in theaters on Halloween, so probably going to go watch Halloween on Halloween in theaters. That's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. 